Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today I'm bringing you an in-depth tour of an extremely high specification 2016 BAC Mono. BAC, or Briggs Automotive Company, is an English firm that embodies the following approach. Purity of design, innovative engineering, zero compromise, and ultra high performance. The Mono is 1836mm wide, 3952mm long, 1110mm tall. It is constructed from an ultra lightweight carbon fibre and foam sandwich around a tested carbon fibre crash box with side impact support. This car has a gorgeous bespoke visible carbon finish. It is powered by a 2.5 litre naturally aspirated inline 4 engine that produces 305 brake horsepower and 308 Nm of torque. The resulting 0 to 62 mph or 100 km per hour time is 2.8 seconds with a top speed of 170 miles per hour. Considering the dry weight of this car is only 580 kg, this results in a power to weight ratio of 525 brake horsepower per tonne. According to autosnout.com, this means the little mono has the same power to weight ratio as a McLaren P1 or a Pagani Huayra. There is a DCAT kit feature on this car, so it undoubtedly sounds impressive. Everything is exposed on the skeletal mono, the suspension, air intake, even the engine. Presumably this is all to save weight. This creates a very catching aesthetic dynamic. The car has adjustable pushrod activated twin wishbones with two-way adjustable dampers. This mono currently has 17 inch Oz alloys with custom Kumo tyres and AP Racing carbon ceramic brakes, but it will soon be upgraded to the full carbon fibre wheels. Despite being road legal, it's clear with these features that the mono is meant to be taken onto the track, as well as enjoyed on the road. Air is brought into the engine through the side intakes and overhead F1 style intake. The interior can feature a made to measure seat and is made from fully waterproof leather and suede with FIA compliant Willens harness system. The seat is constructed from carbon fibre and is fixed into the crash box. There is a fully removable multifunctional steering wheel with LDS4 colour screen. The mono has steering wheel mounted gear change paddles but also a pedal clutch. The clutch is used when changing from first to reverse, the initial change into first, throughout stop-start and while in low revs or moving slowly for a smooth change. Whilst driving at a consistent speed with good revs it becomes semi-automatic so all gear operation can be controlled through the paddles alone. The transmission is pneumatically operated so I imagine changing between first to reverse can be quite loud. The controls for the indicators, the horn, lights, hazard lights, ignition and the display controls are all on the steering wheel. The red button below the one I pressed is the engine kill switch and will automatically kill the engine in all systems once pressed. That can be easily removed by pulling the clips towards the steering wheel and gently pulling away. There are two small storage pockets on the inside of the mono and a front boot that's quite large for such a compact car. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get in the car or drive it, but I imagine getting in and getting out isn't quite as hard as it may seem. I hope you enjoyed my tour of this 2016 BSE Mono. This car is currently for sale at Super Ventura. As always, all the links are in the description of the video. Please subscribe for the latest content, and until next time, cheers.